I'm Peter Weber and I started uh, in the chemical industry. I'm a chemical engineer and I changed uh, later to the textile industry. I'm also a textile engineer and I was working four years in the textile business and was always involved with ecological uh, topics uh, since I'm working in 30 years in this industry. We developed a standard focused on uh, our industry and uh, it's different from all the others. We have our focus on the input side. That means we developed the input stream management system. First of all, we check all the chemicals in a very deep level they go in the supply chain. This is one point. The other point is we make a so-called blue sign screening in a factory itself. We check everything that goes in from materials, chemicals, but also from a resource point of view, energy like gas, electricity, water. And in the same time, we check all the process they are involved to produce textiles and we have a look on the end of the process. That means the end of pipe. And so we check the air emission, the water emission. And between the input and the output is always a workplace. So we have to take care also about the workers. They are uh, confronted with chemicals and processes. The original project was so-called Blue Planet. And then we decided to make uh, this sign, this blue sign, because it's much more than a test at the end at the final product. Then we believe this is too late. We have to check everything is involved in the supply chain so that we can bring at the end of the day a transparency in our industry. We are very proud in Europe that we developed 40 different eco labels and worldwide we have more than 80 eco labels. And the problem is now that uh, the consumer at the end, he cannot make a differentiation and he don't really know what is behind. And I think that's a difficulty at the moment. And as more as more greenwashing is, is, a, is a topic and we see now the biggest uh, effort is in the marketing departments and um, that uh, brings not uh, a clear information to the supply chain and at the end to the consumer. So I believe that in the future transparency would be the goal, the goal for the, the good brands. This morning before uh, the Volvo Sports event starts we had a short press conference and we launched uh, the Blue Finder. The Blue Finder is a, a tool that the manufacturer in the, in the supply chain can have a look on the chemicals, performance products he can use to produce a safe product. And the important part is here that we have now a tool ready also for the brands. They are asking for to fulfill their restricted substance list. There are a lot of big brands they have installed since years this restricted substance list and we can offer now a database the decision maker in the production have access and can select products they are safe and with this product he can fulfill all the common restricted substance list. We launched this Blue Finder because uh, we know it's a big demand also from the big brands to fulfill this their requirement and uh, the holistic approach in Blue Sign to select the right product that's the start. We should start with the right product because if we develop something new and we have an EHS, environment, health and safety problem, at the end of the day in the final product and we have to go back to step one, we have a big problem. Also from an economic point of view, it makes sense to start with the right product. This is the first step. The big step afterwards is to get transparency in a company itself. <clears throat> we make a so-called uh, blue sign screening and where we go very deep and check everything. And this is uh, an interesting tool also from an economic uh, point of view because after that screening we have the two total transparency in the company and we can give them a feedback how good they are producing always compared to best available technology. We take an example, a dye house manager 
has to fulfill some fastness requirements. In the same time, he has to fulfill the requirements from the brands in respect of EHS issues. So he can go in and select, for example, for a sweat, sweat management product, he has to dye for, uh, from polyester, he can select the dye stuff they are allowed to do that. And also we have uh, information if he can use it for close to skin application, for example, or if he can use it for technical applications. So it's very helpful for him with uh, a quick access to get the full information. The speech we will do uh, with Jill Dumain from Patagonia, we will talk about how Patagonia and BlueSign is working together and how we can implement such a tool in the supply chain. With their goal to be totally transparent and at the end of the speech Patagonia will show their new website uh, Footprint Chronicles and I believe that this is a message to the consumer and to other brands. That's the future from my point of view.